G'day, Bushranger here, and welcome to Bushranger's Fauna Facts, where we look to explore the lives of some of Australia's most iconic animals. Now I know what you're thinking. What animal could be worthy of the first episode? Well, to answer that, we're going to have to look at our national crest. Of course, you're right, it is... No, no, it's not the fucking emu. Are you kidding me? The emu is easily the worst animal of Australia. No, we're going to look towards the most dangerous, the kangaroo. When you think Australian animals, you think a kangaroo hopping through the outback. Don't lie to yourself, you do. And look at them, such graceful beasts, so powerful, with their long tail and their second little dongle. Yes, that's right, that is their penis pouch. And kangaroo society revolves around penises, as we will see. Look at that twirly little fella. Ha <laughs> ha. As we can see here, kangaroos are pack animals. They love to just stand around and have a bloody good scratch. Look at them go. All of them are doing it. Or they're just lay lying around like big lazy assholes. I mean, they don't really have much else to do besides eat grass and human children. So they have to spend their time sniffing each other's dicks. Of course, what else would they do, really? Look at him. He's on the prowl for some premium rudong. Mmm, creeping through. Oh, what's is he spotted some here? Oh, no, just peeing. He's not keen on that. He just wants the dong. Doesn't want the juices at the moment. Now, kangaroos, as previously mentioned, are an iconic part of the Australian image, with their unique kind of human-dog hybrid look, and they're just, you know, <laughs> kind of funny little hops. Some foreign people have come up with a series of misconceptions or myths about Australian people and kangaroos. They think that we must use them as some form of transport. Now, this is ridiculous. How would that work? Sitting on the back as pictured? In the pouch, the pouch is too small. No, my friends, Australians do not ride kangaroos. There are obvious ergonomic problems. Ah, uh, and wombats are just far more comfortable. But there is another reason. Kangaroos are extremely dangerous. They will fucking punch on at the slightest moment. Here we go. Look, he's ready. He's found his target. Hopping into the battle. Oh, here we go. Oh, jab right to the face. Sneaky bastard. Look at them. They're ready to gouge out some eyes. You might notice they've got some little claws on them. But that's not the worst part. They're willing to gouge eyes. But they have a much more deadly technique. The dick kick. As we will see coming up right now. Here we go. Ooh, straight for the dick. Straight for the dick. That dick kick is deadly. And could kill a man by having his dick kicked clean off. Now you might say to yourself. Nah, it's okay Bushranger. They're out in the outback. We're safe from these dick-kicking machines. Look at them go. Oh, damn, it deadly as. But you couldn't be more wrong. Their violent combat can take place anywhere. Even in our towns. Oh, look at those dick kicks go. Right in the street, next to some guy's poor you. He's probably got dick blood and semen splattered all over it from this fight. Now, these kangaroos are ready to take down mankind. Look how jacked this fucking kangaroo is. Why does he need to be that jacked? He's a kangaroo, unless he's going to take down some humans. Their, like, legacy of violence permeates so deeply that even joeys are willing to punch the fuck on. Look at them, yo. Ah. Oh. Except that little joey's a little bitch. Look at him run off to his mum. At least his mum's not going to take any of that shit. Now, if she was smart, she'd kick him as in the ass as well. 
he's not going to grow up to be pack leader with some kind of pussy attitude like that. Now, if a kangaroo doesn't kick your dick off, it will be willing to drown you in a billabong like a bloody dog. Look at this, it's brutal. Boom. Drowning a dog. Now, you might just think, how do we take that? We don't. We get our revenge. Serves you right, you dick-kicking monsters. <laughs> I hope you've learnt something new about Australia's most iconic animals, the kangaroo. Next time you see one in the wild, stay back. They will kick your dick off and leave you to die. Have a good day.